So here's the latest progress on the Chinook. I have um, I've had everything painted with uh, white paint put on another layer of future and then I applied the decals. Um, you can see that I have started to do some detail painting as well but that's uh, just uh, you know smaller steps and I'm in the process um, as you can see the rotors as well have been painted there's some steel portions added and uh, just to give you a bit of an idea what I'll be I'll be doing with the um, main fuselage as well is that in uh, some of the areas I'll go and take uh, this colored pencil and I highlight the outer lines of the rotor just to give the eye a better lead when looking at the thing. It helps to give better definition uh, it doesn't so show so much on the video, but in real life it's a real good thing that you should do basically all the time. It's just a matter of what paint you use. Um, I'm using a light gray uh, in this case because it's dark gray is underlying color. Uh, using white would be too evident. Uh, sometimes you can use silver, sometimes you use uh, darker colors on lighter colors. So. Um, Give your model highlights. Give your give give the person who looks at the model a better guide with the eye, because not everybody will be looking at your uh, finished kit with uh, optimizer or magnification glasses to look at all the details. So you can pick the detail out by giving the eye some help to. Um, to discover things and this is what the highlights are for okay I'll be processing the Chinook today I think I hope I'll be able to finish it and you'll see um, a little bit about the finished result and I'll be taking some pictures to show some uh, more detail okay until then see you okay here's the Chinook nearly finished all the decals are on all the paintings been done all the broken off parts are replaced and so on and so on the only thing that is not yet done is the rotors aren't yet fixed uh, but that is due to the fact that this bird needs a rigging um, as you can see all these I don't know what the technical function of that is I mean there are all these extensions along the hull I don't know what these are for but these need to be connected with a thread and that's what I'll be doing next um, the first thing um, I want to try is some yarn that is quite common among us um, ship modelers it's um, it's the so-called Sinis yarn it's um, 20 denier. I don't know if you can even see it. Can you see it on the? I don't know. I should probably have a white background card or something like that to make it visible. You probably cannot even see it here on on the film, but uh, this will show in real life, and that's uh, that's one thing that is really. Uh, given a good impression in the model if you take care of all the details as well this will be glued on with uh, using super glue um, bit by bit and then um, to make sure that it's straight and tight this can be heat shrunk using a instant stick a joss stick uh, I sh ship modelers do to have these you just light them and they give a very nice and constant uh, heat source uh, for your work and you'll just approach the 
yarn and it will just jump into position it's a uh, it's a process that needs um, uh, it's a process that needs practice but uh, everybody can do it it's just really a matter of practice um, it's, it's plenty of times I've screwed that up but um, once you get the hang of it it's not that difficult to do uh, this is what I'll be doing next and then it's finish and photo see you around and here is the final result of this build the Chinook HC1 in the RAF version in my case the United uh, Nations version has about 110 pieces which is quite a lot for a 144 scale kit thus it's taken a lot more time than just a weekend to finish it but it's a very rewarding a build and it's a whole lot of fun the parts fit is good and the price is moderate I would recommend this kit to anyone who is really interested in 144 scale kits thank you for watching see you around